So well, new concerns over what is now being called a fish kill in the Ogeechee River. Now officials are raising the alarm at local boat ramps. It's bad in that, you know, a lot of people will choose not to enjoy the river this weekend, which is a busy weekend. And, um, but I guess to, you know, in a, in a, to use an abundance of caution is a good thing. Well, this time last year, swimming and fishing was banned in the Ogeechee, and this Memorial Day weekend is shaping up to be the same. News 3's Meredith Lay is following the fish kill, and today she found some interesting details about where dead fish are turning up and where they aren't. Meredith? That's right, Russ. For the last few days, DNR has been combing the river, pulling out dozens of dead or sick fish. But the one place they say wildlife is thriving is above the King Finishing Discharge Pipe. It's too soon to tell if this fish kill is related to the one last year that caused nearly 40,000 fish to turn up dead and forced King Finishing to pay a million dollars for dumping unpermitted chemicals. Now DNR is working overtime to get answers. That's just gills. They're not, I mean, they're basically, you know, it's the same stuff that's on their sides. It's a sad scene on the Ogeechee River, but for DNR's Tim Barrett, it's all too familiar. Occasionally you'll see patches, white patches on some of their backs that are, that are obviously struggling. The smaller fish, the top minnows and the two inch and, and smaller fish, sometimes they'll be missing part of a tail and have a white looking back. The call started coming in a few days ago that more fish were dying in the Ogeechee River. DNR says they knew they needed to act fast. This is nothing like it was when we showed up last year. There's dead fish all over the place. This is the very, appears to be the very beginnings of a fish kill of some sort. We don't know if it's natural. Um, or man caused or, or, or what it is that's killing the fish. DNR says this is what the beginning of a fish kill looks like. They get sick, they have sores, and eventually they start washing up along the banks of the river. There's a lot of things that, that are contributing to this. One, certainly the drought that we're in and the low flows that you see are not normal for this time of year. That's a stressor. To Barrett, these fish show similar signs to the ones that died last year due to Calmanaris, a bacterial disease that can also be triggered by poor water quality. In the meantime, people are warned to stay out. A lot of things going on and some of them are um, succumbing to something and, and hopefully we'll find out what that is soon. While the DNR's Wildlife Division is calling this a fish kill, I just spoke with Kevin Chambers with EPD, and he says they're hesitant to classify this as anything until they have more information. I asked if there has been any discussion to temporarily suspend King America's discharge permit, but Chambers says there's no reason because the company is in full compliance with the law. Test results should be back next week. For News 3, I'm Meredith Lay. Well, King America Finishing also sent us a statement. The company says it met with EPD staff about 20 minutes after receiving reports from EPD that there were dead fish in the river. It says representatives only found living, thriving fish. King America says it has no reason to believe the company is responsible for the subsequent reports of dead minnows, fish, and crawfish found uh, several miles from its facility. It says their continuous testing shows that the river does meet quality standards. Well, again, test results are still out, so we're still waiting on a cost for the fish killed. In the meantime, Bullock, Effingham, and Screven County Emergency Management Agencies have issued a swimming and fishing advisory for the Ogeechee River. If you spot any dead fish in the Ogeechee, officials want to hear from you. Here are the numbers to call. We've also posted them on our website, WSAV.com. Just search Ogeechee.